So 3 years ago, I made a video about Overwatch characters that I want to see in Paladins. But as you guys all know, there's Overwatch 2 now, and that video was like years ago, so I want to remake it. So these are going to be Overwatch 2 characters that I want to see in Paladins. And I'm going to name 5 characters from Overwatch. Number 5 in the list is going to be Lucio. Now the closest Lucio that we have in Paladins is, I guess I would say Grover. I'm thinking this in my head right now, so um, I could be wrong. And I'm pretty sure one of the supports has a card where it's kind of like like Lucio, it's either Lilith or Maldamba. They're basically giving you movement speed. So if you guys never played Overwatch before, basically Lucio, she can speed boost everyone around this area over here, AoE, or heal everyone around this AoE area. So it kind of just depends on your playstyle. Do you want to heal your teammates? Do you want to go speed them up? You also have a knockback ability. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do any damage. And the thing that I like about him, like look at this, I can basically parkour around the area like look at this <laughs> this is actually so fun it's probably gonna be a little bit harder to do in paladins because let's be honest the maps in paladins are a little bit more complicated and then his ultimate is basically just giving your teammates and yourself like a lot of health but it's gonna slowly go down like lucio is just so fun to use like look at this i can basically just go anywhere i could like do a surprise attack i could just throw enemies off the map <laughs> it's just gonna be so fun having lucio in paladins the closest lucio that we have is grover and um grover also has aoe heals and their ultimates are kind of similar but you know they're not completely the same i just like the movement ability the heal ability lucio just seems so fun to use number four in the list is gonna be bastion now it's either you love or you hate this guy personally i don't really mind him definitely he can be very annoying but uh, in paladins we don't have anything that can like transform the closest we have is imani with the dragon in overwatch look at this i can like shoot around throw like a grenade and then look at me i can turn into like a machine gun and look <laughs> i just i'm just shredding everyone and bastion's ultimate i'm pretty sure they changed this this is not how it used to be in overwatch one but it's basically victor's ultimate i'll be honest with you but yeah i just want someone in pauses that can like transform into something like look at this it's just so cool we don't have anything in pauses that can like transform the closest we have is imani it's not even that similar imani can like go from fire form into ice form the only reason why i said imani is the closest bastion we have is because of the dragon everything else is not really the same like literally nothing similar after that it's only the dragon number three in the list is gonna be doomfist now personally i don't really like doomfist that much the only reason why i like doofus is because he's like a fist character like a melee character basically in paladins we don't really have a melee character the closest we have as a melee character is i mean obviously terminus and that's the only melee character we have in paladins i mean you cannot really include a Juxus sponge or talus sponge like an actual legit melee character there's no one else besides terminus and nyx i want them to add like a flank in paladins that's that's like a melee character Character. imagine how fun that would be i don't know what i'm doing with doomfist by the way i'm playing while i'm talking right now and i don't know how to play this guy now we're going to the good ones out here the second character that i want in paladins is gonna be echo now the second and the first characters i just definitely want to see in paladins the closest echo that we have in paladins i actually don't even know i guess vatu the only reason why i said vatu is because of these bombs over here and that's literally the closest one her playstyle is just so good like i can just fly around do damage and then i can just laser enemies but the main reason why i want echo to be in paladins is because i can copy the enemy for example i want to be tracer over here i could literally just copy her with my ultimate and now i am tracer look at this i could just copy the enemy it's actually just so good i would love to see this in paladins this is also one of the reasons why echo is like my second favorite damage in this game my favorite damage is obviously reaper and spoiler alert reaper is not here in this list because uh, i don't want to be biased but echo is just so unique and so fun i just want an echo in paladins now before i say number one i want to give some honorable mentions this is a little biased but i would love like a kuriko in paladins kuriko's playstyle is just so so fun i might be a little biased though because kiriko is my favorite support in overwatch the thing that i love about her like just look at this i can literally teleport save my i could literally just teleport over here save this bro 
Okay, take three. Um, I can go to my teammates over here and save them. There we go. Finally, Jesus Christ. I just love doing that. And the closest we have is, I guess, Ying. Because Ying can, like, teleport to her illusions or to her teammate. But Ying can only teleport to her teammates when she's ulting. She cannot do it, like, any time. And I just love this ability right here. Uh, I think it's called Suzu. The way they're, like, immune for a few seconds is just so good. And, uh, and this ability as well is giving them attack speed and movement speed speed she's kind of like a mixture of ying and ray because ray can also save i just like the way she can like climb stuff as well like look at this i can just heal this guy and then go back down i might be a little biased like i said but you guys might agree with me with this one i just love kiriko she's so fun to play the last honorable mention is gonna be anna now anna is just so fun and so unique in my opinion have you ever heard of a sniper support yes a sniper support look at this i can heal people from far away i could literally i could literally go from here i'm a sniper support i could literally be so far i could do damage i could do heals and this is the best part i could sleep enemies look at this do we have uh, like a sleep in paladins i think the closest one is like genos grab but that's not really like a sleep i think the closest i know we have in paladins is like willow because of the cosmos eyes like this these guys are not getting any healing if i use this so it's kind of like willow a little bit because of that and i guess grok because grok can like heal teammates and at the same time do damage look at this i can heal and then do damage at the same time imagine how fun it is just to like sleep someone and then you're like hey guys they they're asleep they're asleep oh, over here shoot them i feel like anna will get countered a little bit easier though in in paladins because of resilience but still i would love an anna in paladins it would be so fun dude now this is probably a little bias as well but number one is gonna be mercy it's either you completely completely disagree with me with this one or completely agree with me with this one mercy is a pocket healer so uh i guess it's basically like ray the closest mercy that we have is ray but the difference between ray and mercy is that i could heal my teammates i could like power boost them as well give them extra damage and i just like her movement ability like look at this i can like jump to my teammates over here but the main reason why i want mercy in paladins is because of one particular thing the res dude it's either you love this or you hate it you die you get rezzed it's basically terminus when you die and then you get rezzed but this time it's gonna be a support rezzing you imagine you're a flank main and you died and then your support is just coming to the rescue of course you can also like do damage it's not just about healing you can also ult and then you have aoe so you're not pocketing anymore you can like heal everyone mercy and echo are definitely the characters that i want in paladins i just want them i love having like a pocket it's just so good i mean if you guys notice in paladins i always have my friend playing like genos for example because i don't know maybe because i'm just obsessed having like a pocket because i'm a flank main and maybe i'm just yeah probably a little biased over here but what about you guys what overwatch characters you would want in paladins of course this is just my take this is just the characters that i want in paladins it could be completely different for you well that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time see you